YouTube, it's Jim Chapman, American Air Gun Hunter, and today I'm in Texas on a melt your face hot day. It is scorching out here. Um, I'm out on a pig hunt. Don't know how good it's going to be in the day. Probably have to go out at, at uh, dusk and maybe do some night hunting, but uh, I'm going to be out here for about 10 days. I'm hitting a few properties and I'm starting off at a, a friend's uh, place. It's a ranch, the uh, Sand Fork Ranch up uh, north, of, uh, north of Abilene. Um, and uh, I, uh, I'll be hitting like two or three other places before I head back and uh, I'm really looking forward to this first gun I'm going to be taking out. I finally got a hammer in my hands again to go out and do some hunting. I've got a, a bit of a history with the hammer. I, um, back in the days when I was uh, doing American uh, Air Gunner with uh, Rossi Morelli, um, I went on a hunt. We filmed a hunt with the first prototype of this gun, the first two guns they actually built that were, were functioning. And uh, I shot a nice fallow. But, uh, that was the last time I used the gun until, until now. And um, I liked it then. It was powerful. It wasn't that refined. It wasn't the smoothest shooting gun in the world, but it showed a lot of promise and, uh, and it did hit hard. You can't argue that. Anyway, um, I got out with the hammer yesterday and started doing some shooting uh, just to get it sighted in. I've got the uh, Leapers uh, Integrix scope mounted on it, the 1x8. This has become my, my favorite scope on a big bore air gun. Uh, it's just a fantastic scope. But anyway, um, I've got that mounted on top and I've got a great combo here. But uh, I've really been impressed so far the way this gun shoots. It, uh, it's got a very, very nice uh, shooting characteristic to it. It kicks a little bit, it jumps a little bit, but it's a, a push back. The gun uh, has a stock that uh, is designed to really let you keep control. You get a good uh, grip on the four stock. The pistol grip works well. I was a little concerned. I, I read a lot of things people using it talked about a, a side blast uh, out of the side where the, uh, the, uh, the magazine is on this gun. And we'll talk a bit about the magazine in a minute. And they said that there's a blast of air out on the, the left side of the gun, and I didn't notice that. Of course, I don't really hold the gun where I'm going to have any part of my body on that, but I haven't seen it as, as a problem. Uh, but yeah, some, uh, some technology on this gun that I really like. I mean, it's a, it's a powerful gun. Um, I, I haven't uh, shot it over the crony yet, so I'm not going to comment right now, but I'll post a little bit later the power I was getting out of it. Um, but um, the gun has a two-shot shuttle uh, magazine. Uh, which is quite unusual on a, on a big bore of this power uh, to, to, to get that. So it's nice having that second shot. Bolt action, very easy to cycle. Um, I've got a bolt that's a extra safety that locks the gun in, uh, in a non-firing um, position, locks the bolt, take that out before it gets started. Uh, it's got a manual safety as, as well. Uh, the gun, it fills up to 4,500 PSI and um, on that you get three three full power shots. I actually shot four and I only had a, yesterday, I only had a little bit of a drop on the, the four shot. It's probably still usable, but <clears throat> they say three shots, so that's what I'm gonna go with. It's, it's three shots. I'm gonna use the uh, Umarex 50 caliber bullet. These are the ones I got with the gun, the uh, UX SLA. I'm going out on a pig hunt a little bit later and uh, we'll see uh, how the gun works. I think I'm probably gonna start out in a blind with it and uh, depending on how that goes, I may either take a pick from a blind or I may have to pack it up and go on the, uh, on the, the road and, and hike, uh, hike through here looking for them down in the, some of the bottoms, some of the areas back around the, uh, the water holes, the thickets. Um, I know they're holding up in there, so we'll go back and take a look. Anyway, we'll give this gun a workout, see how it does. Right now I'm going to do some range work though, so let's get going.
Bryce drove me out to the back side of the property where I got to a blind and then set up. About an hour later, a couple small pigs passed by, stopping at the corn I'd thrown in the road. But I decided to wait. They were pretty small. Then a few more came in, including a couple of larger ones. Okay, I decided to take the black one up front. Next morning I was back in the blind with nothing happening, so I packed up about 8.30 and went stalking. I hope to find pigs bedded down in the scrub oaks and thickets.
So it's coming up. I thought I heard something and grinding and stuff. Just when I came around the bend, two, uh, two boar jumped up and they ran across the way and made a mistake. They stopped and looked back at me. Uh, offhand shot, I think it was about 65 yards. Uh, and uh, I went for the white one. There's a white one and a black one. The white one looks spotted. Uh, and uh, man, I, uh, I pulled a shot and he just dumped. It's like <laughs> my second pig in a couple days and the thing has done a job on both of them. This one looked bigger. I don't know how much bigger. We'll go take a look. The other one was about 130 pounds. I got out of blind. This one looks bigger. Maybe not. <laughs> we'll see ground shrinkage, but let's go look. Huh. So you saw that uh, that hunt. I uh, started off in the blind this morning. Didn't go all that great. Uh, nothing at all came in actually. I'd seen these stands of wood where there's some big pigs yesterday, so I came back in. I backed out yesterday, so I didn't disturb them. Figured maybe they'd bed down there again. Came back in. Nothing happening there, but I walked to the next stand of woods up and uh, hiked around, so I had the wind in my favor, and was just coming in. And these two, I don't know if they heard me or smelled me. They jumped up and they ran across from. From back over there. To right there. And they stopped for a minute. They just stopped and looked back. I, I think they were looking where to go. I just stopped dead in my tracks. I brought the gun up, snapped off the shot. It was a heart shot. Just rolled him over, killed him on the spot. Uh, the 50 hit hard, good penetration. Hit the heart and that pig just rolled. Uh, anyway, I'm waiting, I called a one of the ranch trucks come and get me. We'll bring him back, get him dressed out. So that's my second pig with the uh, the hammer um, on this trip. I shot another one a bit smaller than this. It was about 130 pounds. This one's probably 150. I thought it was bigger before. It did shrink on the ground. It's got some cutters, nothing huge, but it's got some decent cutters on him. Uh, anyway, I uh, I got the other one out of the blind, got this one uh, out stocking, spot and stocking. So I got a pretty good feel for the gun both ways. and. I like it a lot. I'll be using it more. At any rate, if you uh, like this video, you found it interesting, give me a thumbs up, a like, and uh, keep coming back. Hunting season's kicking off. I'm going to have a lot more coming your way.